Good morning, good afternoon, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie and we are going to talk about your morning, but the concept of we've got kids back in school, we've got a little bit of a, we don't have a little bit, we have a different season. We are going into a different season. Summer is done. A lot of you have kids back in school or your kids are starting school or maybe you homeschool like we do, but it's shifted. And so the question has been coming to me in my inbox or just uh, through my Instagram of what do I do to be productive or how do I not go through the drive through What are some ideas for me to make so that I can go in the mornings and be productive, make better choices, feel great, and not end up in a drive through So as you're tuning in, I would love to know what does your morning usually look like? Do you... Are you in the, are you go, go, go? Like, do you wake up late? Do you have to grab something or do you have a chill morning? This is one of the books. I'm not actually going to go over the book right now, but this book, if you're looking to help you slow down, have a productive morning, own your morning, own your day. Like if you're looking for something to help you get on track, mindset wise, schedule wise, attitude wise, then I would suggest grabbing this book. It's a short read, grab it, read it, and then take the action on it. And here's what I want you to understand. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So for instance, we're just talking about mornings. So we are on vacation. Our mornings have looked a little bit different. Although I have gotten up and I've still been reading, as we go home, I was just talking to my parents downstairs. If you, did, if you haven't been following our story, if you're brand new, welcome to the Keto Mom page. Uh, we are normally in Minnesota. We're currently in Florida and we had a family vacation with my entire side. So my sisters, my brother, all the grandkids, my parents. Today's our last day and we leave tomorrow. So we were just thinking, I said, man, when we get home, it's like school. Uh, you know, if your kids are in sports, like it's, it's a, it's a whole new season. And I have parents going, listen, I'm running out the door. What should I grab? What can my mornings look like? Help me stay on track. And so the biggest thing I say is if you can just give yourself a little bit of time to plan throughout the week, one day, have some systems in place, have some things like tools that will help you, you will make better choices and you will keep working towards your goal. So for instance, I want you to just think to yourself, am I going to eat breakfast or am I going to intermittent fast? You decide. What do you normally do? Do you eat breakfast or do you intermittent fast? I'd love for you to share with me below or share in the comments. Are you a breakfast eater? Are you intermittent fasting? Either one is fine. I don't intermittent fast every single day. When I do, it's great. If you want to know the benefits of intermittent fasting, just Google it. It helps with lots of different things, whether you're just trying to get back on track, stay on track, uh, eat a little bit less. Like There's so many benefits to fasting. Super great. So and then you have to decide, okay, I tell people, invest in an air fryer. I know it sounds silly, but if you are eating breakfast in the morning for you and your kids every day, no matter what, I get up and my kids usually have eggs or sausage. Um, we homeschool and we work from home, so our morning looks a little different than most people's, but it is the easiest thing to grab some sausage from Costco or whatever your favorite Grocery store is, grab a couple of sausage links, we love them from Costco, throw them in the air fryer, start it, and then go about your morning. So get up, do your morning, read, do your hair, do your makeup, cook for all the kids. It takes 10 minutes for those little sausages in the air fryer to cook while you are going throughout your day. And this can be just for you. It doesn't even have to be for your kids. Like if you can plan a little bit, so make some hard boiled eggs, have those ready in the refrigerator. You can pre-make like any type of little eggs. You can, if you prep your food on a Sunday or a Monday or a Saturday or whatever works for you, you can bake eggs and ham and e make those little egg cups like you would buy at Starbucks. You can make your own. You can even go to some stores and they already have them pre-made for you, right? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you plan, you will not fail because you have them in order. So I say an air fryer, I feel like is a must, especially for mornings. Um, I just get the air fryers at Costco because I'll, I go to Costco when I need a new one or I feel like, listen, we've gone through this for the two years. I need a new one that handle isn't broken. 
I've gone to Costco. There's a square one that I have. I don't know what brand it is. I'm not an air fryer connoisseur. I just grab one. I feel like they all work the same. Big, small. Um, but it is key to throwing anything in there, even if you come home for lunch. And you, like, I, we get salmon patties or we'll have a piece of chicken. You can throw it in the air fryer, press it, go about your morning or afternoon, and it's done. It makes life, if you're on the go and if you need to get things moving, so simple. It's a simple tool that if you grab one, it's going to help you. So mornings, right? Intermittent fasting, you're eating breakfast. If you pre-plan and make your own little egg cups or sausage links or you have things to throw in your air fryer, it's going to help you a ton, right? Having things in your refrigerator, like if you're a coffee drinker, making sure it's not full of sugar or a fat coffee. Uh, I always tell people, grab your water bottle for the day. It's super important. So you've always got water with you. I drink ketones every day. This is my coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I say that because most people drink something. In the morning, it's been fun to watch everybody in this home because we have lots of different families. I grab my ketones. Some people grab their coffee. Some people grab their energy drinks. This is my tool this is my fuel of choice. I should show you. I thought I, I think I have some left. Well, I know I have some left, but I was sharing it with my sister. So this, I'll show you what I drink. So mornings. Here, why don't you share? Tell me this. Do you? What do you make for on the go? So if you plan to have breakfast ideas or things to keep you moving in the morning that doesn't take long, share with me below what you do. If you're intermittent fast, great. If you have things that you prep and plan and prepare for your week for breakfast, what do you do for breakfast? So we normally do eggs or sausage. I use the air fryer every single day or turkey bacon. My kids love turkey bacon and you can cook it all in the oven or the air fryer. Easy, easy, easy. Or I'll make some hard boiled eggs so they're ready for breakfast or to make egg salad for lunch. So again, to keep yourself out of the drive through, all you need to do is pick what day works for you plan a little bit, pre-cook a little bit, and then you will set yourself up for success so much more ahead of most people. Same thing with lunches. Like if you can grab some deli meat and cheese, some lettuce wraps, low carb wraps, pickles, again, hard boiled eggs, cans of tuna fish. Like if you have those things in your refrigerator or one of the easiest things I tell people, I'm like, if you have a refrigerator anywhere in your workspace at your office, or anywhere you work, get your stuff ready for the week. Load up the refrigerator with your own lunches so that you can either preheat or heat something up or just make a quick sandwich. Don't overthink it. As soon as you get into this mindset of, but I'm bored with that, or I want something different, or I, 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 I'm like, listen, your goals have to outdo or outthink the idea of like, but I only have five or six meals, I'm bored. Like the whole boredom of food, when somebody tells me that, I'm like, listen, do you want to lose the fat or do you like sometimes people get so fixated and frustrated on, I need a new recipe. I need a new recipe. I need something different. And I'm like, I get it. Have some sausage or turkey bacon or regular bacon or have some eggs instead of sausage or uh, somebody put on here like a protein. If you protein waffles, if you have a waffle maker sitting on your counter, all you have to do is throw two eggs in a mug with your favorite protein powder, maybe a dash of vanilla Mix it really quick. Takes two seconds. Throw it in the waffle maker while you run and do something else in the morning. That is super easy. Super easy. Protein shakes. That's super easy. So sure, mix it up. Give yourself five breakfast options, five lunch options, five different dinner options if you truly want to reach your goals and rotate them. And then on a day when you're like, I actually have some extra time or you're sitting watching your kid play ball or maybe you're sitting at the softball diamonds. I don't even know and you're like, I need something new to make, that's when you can go and do a little bit of research. Next Sunday, grab all the ingredients and make a new meal. But have your staples, have the things that you're gonna have every single day, no matter what, because you have goals. You wanna lose some weight, you wanna feel better, you wanna get healthier, you wanna get leaner. Have your staples, have the things that you're gonna have no matter what, so that if, in fact, you don't plan a meal, you can go to the refrigerator, and grab a hard boiled egg. You can grab a pickle. You can grab a lettuce wrap. Even if you don't feel like it, but at least you have it so that you're not going through a drive through or a gas station to grab something that you will not feel good in five minutes. Does that make sense? So your morning shouldn't be stressful. No meal should be stressful. If you take a Sunday, 
or a Saturday, plan a little bit, lay it out, go to the grocery store, have in the refrigerator, and you can have little things like an air fryer, right? Have the waffle maker on the counter. I know some people don't like to have things on the counter, but I'm like, listen, if it's going to help me, it's going to be in my eyesight. I'm going to have it all set up. I can have my mug right by my uh, waffle maker. So I can, anything that you can do to help yourself in convenience. I tell people, I don't care if there's stuff on my counter. I, I laugh. My sister, Brittany, has nothing on her counters. She's got the most beautiful kitchen, but I'm like, where is all your stuff? And this is not convenient for me. And it, I just say out of sight, out of mind and out of sight, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind for junk and sugar. You're not going to eat it out of sight, out of mind. Oh, I love protein waffles. That would take me about two minutes to make, but I don't ever see my waffle maker. So, or my air fryer, cause they're hiding and I forget. And then I didn't plan. And then I was running around my morning. And then I, all of a sudden I have to go through the drive through because I didn't have breakfast for anybody. Right. I don't even know what I was going to say. So anyways, I would love to know what your mornings look like. Are there any things that you do to help you have a smooth morning? Anything that you love for breakfast options that are on the go? Anything that you do that helps you stay focused and on track and run smoothly? That is what people are looking for. So little things like we keep our shaker bottles. I mean, if I'm going to work out in the morning, it just depends if I'm going to go to early, early class or not. Or if I'm not, I still at night, I clean up my kitchen. I put my shaker bottle out on the counter. I have my ketones on the counter. Like I just, before I go to bed, I'm like, what do I need for tomorrow? And I work and I stay at home and I still like to get up and flow seamlessly through my morning. I don't know. It's just a thing. Um, kids favorite breakfast to go, go to's my kids favorite. We have sausage from Costco and eggs almost every single morning, or they'll have a protein shake. That's really about it. Sausage and eggs and protein shakes. Or they'll, or if they get fancy, they'll make an omelet. But we keep it super simple, and then we start school. So even though we are still in our home, we basically eat the same way. Same thing. And then we get up for our lunchtime, and we make wraps, or we make whatever leftovers we had for dinner. So I would just love to know if there's any little simple tips or tricks to help you. For those of you especially who are dropping kids off or you're going to work or you're leaving your home, what helps you keep it smooth? What helps you not go through the drive through So please share any tips or tricks below that help you because it helps other people. It's not just about me. I stay home. I work from home. I have a business and my kids homeschooled. So like our life is a little different and yet we still stay focused and on track. We still use the things like the air fryer and different things to help us. So we just don't, I don't like to waste time. I don't like to make, I just don't like to waste time. So anyways, and I drink these. So this is what I was going to grab for you. If you've never tried my mom fuel, it's incredible. I drink it every single day. I joke and say, this is my energy drink, or this is my coffee. It's incredible. Like it puts you in ketosis in under an hour. So again, most people get up and grab something. This is what I grab. This is what I've grabbed for seven years. If you've never tried it and you want to know more about ketones, I want you to post ketones in the comments. I would love to teach you more about it. It legitimately gives you ketones. So it helps with your energy, your focus, your appetite control. I tell people I don't have to eat garbage because it helps me with my cravings. I don't have to take a nap because it keeps me awake. I feel focused to homeschool my kids because ketones are brain fuel and so much more. So with that, I look forward to reading all of your comments. I want to know what you do in the mornings or maybe... Do you pre-pack your lunches or what do you do to keep you on track? Otherwise, continue to any keto questions you have. Ask your questions below and I will come back on and do a, a live later. Um, I normally come on and do a morning. I have not picked a book yet. So we leave tomorrow from our vacation. I'm going to go home and switch seasons. I'm going to switch the mindset. We're going to start school. There's so many things that we are going to be starting and I will start a new book. I just don't have it picked out yet. So I'll let you know when we do. But this is a book that I tell everybody to grab because it will help you own your morning. And I 100% believe that if you own your morning, you own your day. Mindset-wise, attitude-wise, how you talk to people. Uh, honestly, the choices that you make with food is based on your mindset, which is based on your morning, which is based on you getting up or sleeping in. And you want to know what I read this morning? And here's the last thing that I'll, and I'll say. It was super interesting. It was a good reminder. He talks about the power of when you go to bed, 
what you're thinking about and what you're watching. Because when you get up in the morning, it's usually based on the last couple thoughts that you had the night before. So do you go to bed worried or frustrated or do you need to like get a notebook out and brainstorm or write down ideas or do you go to bed listening to something positive? Are you watching the TV and the news or are you reading a good book before you go to bed? Because you will wake up in the state of which you went to sleep in. So that's interesting. So tonight when you go to bed, think about that. Where is my mindset at? Am I in a news mindset? Don't watch the news. Or am I in a, I'm listening to something that's going to inspire me or I'm going to read a book or I'm not going to watch the TV. I'm going to be thankful and grateful. So I wake up with a, with a day of like, I'm so thankful I get to do today. Remember, not I have to, but I get to. So when you wake up in the morning and you believe you're going to have a great day and you are not in a rush and you walk through things you're grateful for, right? Grateful heart and you maybe read a book or you listen to a podcast or you let your morning just be and rest and sit and relax even for just 15 minutes of letting your mindset go, I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I get to go to work, I get to bring my kids to school, I get to eat my hard-boiled egg that I prepped. Your words and your mindset is so powerful, which will, and then return, you can look at your choices you make throughout your day and you can go all the way back to your morning and see how you started. And then you can look at your choices and you can go, yes, I had a great morning. I'm making great choices. I did not have a great morning and therefore I'm in the drive-thru. That's it. And just so you know, if you go through the drive-thru, you can make way better choices. I'm not saying that a drive-thru is bad. I'm just saying the choices that most people make are not the best. If you go through a drive-thru and you forgot your lunch and you need some food, take the bun off the burger. Grab a salad and take the croutons off the salad. So. I don't want to condemn you for going through a drive through There's many times we have. Just make better choices. So, all right, that's it. I hope you guys have an incredible day. Ask any keto, low-carb life, any questions below. I'm here to help. Or you can send me a message. You can always go to ketomomsecrets.com. Click on recipes for recipes. Click on book club to work on your mindset. Click on how to get started to get started. Or send me a message and I'm here to help. Otherwise, I'm going to go drink my ketones. I'm going to go help clean this incredible house that we're staying at. Today is clean day. Today is last pool day. Today is just a great day. And then we leave tomorrow. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.